Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, I'm making some mixed media cards thanks to goodies from US Art Quest and Stencil Girl. One of the things that is the focal image of it is this stuff called copper leafing. Although I keep calling it gold leafing in the video, but it's really copper, even though I keep getting tongue tied over it. Anyway, with copper leafing, you use that in gilding and it creates this metallic shine that is just, well, it's fantastic. And the camera even picks some of it up. So just imagine it even shinier than what shows up on camera. Easy to do, no measuring, no precision, because you know, if I'm doing it, it's not something you have to be that careful with. Well, enough of my talking, come see how I made the card. Well, I'm gonna start out with two colors of the perfect pigment paints. One of them's pearlescent and one of them isn't. And I'm gonna spread these around. Now with precision, careful thought, you can see that I have such a detailed plan here. And then to help the paint spread around and add a little translucency to it, that's just a little touch of the perfect glaze. And that gives it just a very subtle, different feeling to parts of it. Now I've got one color done and now I'm gonna grab the pearlescent color and I am going to just randomly fill this in. If you haven't figured this out yet, yeah, this is all totally random. I am just covering this whole piece of paper with color. I want all that white space gone and I want color everywhere. Thanks to a technical glitch here that didn't record the last segment, I'm gonna redo the same technique using a scrap of paper that I had around. I've taken a stencil and I have got some duo adhesive over there and I'm just taking my brush and very generously and loosely brushing that onto the stencil. Now I'm using something very fluid and a brush with a stencil. Will this be imperfect? You betcha. And is that exactly what I want? Absolutely. Now when I lift this up, you can barely see the adhesive on there, the duo, but it is there and it's very sticky. So now we're going to pretend that the camera was actually rolling when I grabbed the duo, squirted some of this very, very fluid adhesive out, and then put my stencil down and then brushed all around it with the duo. And you can see the outline of the stencil or you can see the lines of the glue all around the place here. So I put about six or so on here. When I give it a few minutes to dry, when it's clear, it's dry. It basically stays very, very tacky and then it's ready to take the leafing. Well, now it's time to get some of that copper leafing right onto that sticky duo adhesive. What I'm doing is pulling a piece out and then just smoothing it flat right on the adhesive. This isn't gonna matter if I get anything lined up perfectly because it comes out in different sized pieces from the package. You can work in a small area with very small pieces like what I'm starting with, or if you reach in and grab a little bit larger piece and work delicately, you can unfold it and you get a larger piece to work with. So if I've unfolded it, I can set it over and cover a lot more surface area in one spot. I am using the sponge to push down the gold leaf or the uh, copper leafing. That way it adheres completely to the duo. Now it's only going to stick where there's adhesive. And the duo is an adhesive that is basically stays sticky. Even when it's dry, it's still sticky. Gold, or I keep calling it gold, the copper leafing, it does come in all sorts of colors and variegations and all sorts of neat pretties. As you're doing this, what you want to watch out for are big, strong, heavy breezes. So if you're doing this outside, be careful because this leafing is so very fine and delicate that if you have a big wind come along, it will blow any loose pieces of it away. But I'm working indoors, so a big wind isn't really going to be an issue. Once I've got the leafing on there, then I can get a little rough with it with my sponge here because what I'm doing is sort of ripping up the leafing anywhere that there isn't adhesive and you're starting to see the stencil design come through. As I'm doing this, you'll see little bits or pieces of the copper leafing, and that's not gonna get wasted because anywhere that I run that stuff over, if there's some adhesive that's still sticky, it's gonna stick to it. That way, everything gets used and nothing gets wasted. Now you may be thinking, but Carolyn, these things are coming out in all different sizes and shapes, and isn't that gonna show when you're done that it didn't all match up and line up perfectly? And the answer is no. It's not going to show. Nobody will know where those lines are. And that's part of why I like it. It's extremely forgiving. This can be very, very imprecise. You can see how I didn't have it everywhere. But when I come in and I rub with the sponge, all the extra little bits that I've pulled off of some areas are filling in the other areas. The hardest part for me with this was remembering where exactly I had the adhesive on here. 
With the camera angle, it's actually easier with the lighting for you to see it on camera than it was for me in person. If I wasn't filming as I was doing this, what I would have done is slightly tilted my paper so I could see where the adhesive was. But because that would be, well, a little irritating to you if I kept picking up the paper and moving it so you couldn't really see it, I kind of had to feel my way around. And anywhere that was sticky, that's where I put the copper leafing. Well, now you're seeing me work over each design a little bit more, making sure that all the loose bits are up. And also what it's doing is creating a slight difference between each one of these. They are not identical. Each one is just a little bit different. Clearly it's the same pattern or design, but each one is unique. And that's what I like for the cards that I'm gonna be making is for each one to have just a slightly different look or each one to be individual. Now, as I did this one here, you saw me use one big piece of copper foil or leaf. Now you're gonna see me use lots of little pieces on the other one. You can use big pieces, you can use little pieces. And all those little shred, those little shards of it, I'm gonna use those too because I don't wanna waste any of this wonderful metallic look that is just absolutely scrumptious in person. You're seeing some of the reflection with the light in the camera and in person it is even better. So you can see I just rub that around and little bits and pieces lift up, stick it where it needs to go. Again, very, very forgiving. If you've ever done copper or any kind of leafing, copper, gold, silver, whatever kind, you know how forgiving this stuff can be. So I've got these just about finished and now I'm gonna turn them into cards. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and very loosely, very imprecisely, cut these six apart so that I can get ready to turn them into greeting cards. Now US Art Quest sent me these papers and different things to play with and as much as I would love to use every single one of these incredible textures in the cards, I'm gonna show a little restraint and I'm gonna pick just one. I'm gonna go with the black one. And it has just this magic, I just love touching it. Just there's such depth to the texture. And I'm gonna cut a piece off of this Again, you can see the precision with which I am doing this. I am oh so about precision. And I'm gonna put that at the bottom of the card. I'm not gonna measure anything. Things are gonna overlap and that's gonna take care of all the hard work of measuring. I'm gonna slather down a bunch of glue. You can see the precision with which I'm doing that and using that very fancy tool, the finger, to spread it around. I am gonna line up the bottom edge as best I can and that way one edge is lined up and I'm not gonna worry about any of the others. Then as I put the glue, I'm just gonna put it on the edge that's gonna overlap. That way I've got some adhesive there. And I'm gonna line it up as best I can, but it really doesn't matter how careful I am because check it out, you just turn it over and trim up anything you need to. Magically, no measuring required. Now, when I do something, there's gotta be some scribble writing somewhere. So I am grabbing a pen from the, just a regular old pen and I am just adding some scribble journaling on these. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my videos and never miss it when I have a new one, hit that subscribe button to my YouTube channel. That way you'll know as soon as I have a new one out. And of course, I'd love for you to stop over at the blog at acolorfuljourney.com where I have links and photos to go along with this video and I have a newsletter where I've got all sorts of goodies and freebies that come with it. Well, I love that black paper so much, that little piece there, that scrap, I didn't wanna let it go to waste. So I am gonna cut a geometrically perfect circle, okay, not, right there to go in the middle. But I liked it so much, I wanna cut another one because, well, it's kind of addictive. And what I'm gonna do is just stack them and that's gonna give it even more dimension because the paper's wonderfully textured and then I'm gonna stack them. And there's room for a third one to be cut out here, so I'm not gonna hold myself back. No control with this. I'm gonna put a third one on there. I'm gonna glue these little guys right in there to the center of the card. Now sometimes having the attitude of not being precise about things has some consequences. Yes, horrible, terrible things that can happen if you aren't super careful. Things like using too much glue. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So much glue that it's gonna run over. Oh well, not a problem. Not a pro I, I can't even really call this one an oops because it's just something that I do all the time. But I have the fantastic, perfect, magical tool to pick up any kind of extra glue that's on the edge. Yes, it's the Q-tip easily wipes off anything around the edge. Well, thanks for joining me for today's play, and thank you for being a part of this colorful journey.